Hi everyone, it's Kevin here. I hope that you're all doing well and having a happy holidays, a happy new year to come. We're a couple of days left into 2023 and I've been looking into writing down some of my predictions for 2024. And so I would just say that if you have any questions or topics that you would like me to look at specifically, you can go ahead and write them in the bottom of this video in the comment section. I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to get to everybody's questions, but you know, any help or clarity on the content that you're looking for for that video would be really helpful. So I'm starting to do some of that. Hopefully the 2024 World and U.S predictions is done sometime in January, um, hopefully sooner rather than later. I have a, a bit of a busy month, but I'm going to work really hard to try to get that as, out as soon as possible. But I was thinking of just doing a little bit of a brief video today and asking Spirit all of their wonderful guidance and insight for us as a collective going into 2024. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on for today. So I threw some cards as I was kind of tabbing into 2024, and I love the message of this deck, but it's for us, it's really going to be a time of letting go. Um, and it, you can see in this, this card deck, too, it's a beautiful sort of truth, sort of power and communication and expression coming in. But really letting go of the things that are no longer aligning with who we are, um, things that came up in 2023 that were, you know, it's not no longer resonating with us. And so we're looking to release that and bring in this new energy that we're looking to manifest into 2024. And I will just say, I think it's going to be really important to be mindful of where we're sitting and energetically for the energy that we want to attract, because we are going into a universal eight year, which is a, all about stepping in and reclaiming your personal power in truth, but it's also a wonderful time to manifest and bring abundance in. So being really mindful of, you know, are we are we sitting in an elevated state or are we letting all of the chaos in the world really help, uh, have us sitting in the fear energy? So doing those things that really raise you out of that fear vibration, whether it's taking a break from the news, um, going outside, breathing in some fresh air, doing those things that we enjoy and that get us out of our own way, get us out of our own head, um, you know, meditating, quieting the mind and bringing the attention to the present, I think can be really helpful too. Or, you know, just going out and having fun and not taking life so seriously. Uh, but Spirit's saying to let go of those things that no longer serve you. And I'm just going to read the message out of this deck because I love the messages in it. So the message, uh, the message was let go. Take back your power and thrive. Let's all just be and take back your light. Stop trying so hard and breathe. Letting go does not mean jumping blindly into faith, but to release the resistance you hold about a subject so your dreams and de desires can be realized. We have all hung up onto a person, place, job, or idea because we think, it will give us what we seek, but hanging on is a result of unbalanced thinking. This imbalance has you needing compensation. You create a deficit by compromising yourself, thinking that way, that was the way towards your dreams. It was your choice to do that. Now it is your choice to let go and create love instead of fear. Powerful message there, and I think so important for 2024. You deserve to have what you want without compromising your truth. You cannot change what has occurred. However, you can change what you do from this moment on. No one has been placed on this earth to make you happy. Just as it is not your responsibility to make anyone else happy. Free yourself and everyone else of the idea that we must be, we must please others to be loved. You are love and you are loved no matter what has happened in your or another's life. And I think that's such an important message um, besides um, the message of, you know, um, sitting in that space of love rather than fear. But, you know, it, 
it's so easy, I think, nowadays with the world being so polarized to to just jump to the extreme or to get into that place of judgment um, or anger because of everything that's unsettled around us. But really letting that go um, and bringing that attention inwards. And doesn't mean, you know, letting it go for yourself so it's not dragging you down energetically, but using that as motivation to speak truth and power to what you believe in. So that's going to be really important going into 2024, letting go of the things that aren't serving you and no longer aligning, aligning with, with who you are. Yeah, the freedom. And this is also that solar plexus energy too, which is the energy center of the body, but also um, the place of the ego, um, our own personal power and strength and courage. So um, really activating up that solar plexus the message with the freedom card is I realize my wounds create doubt, resentment, and guilt. So I work to free myself of darkness. I cast off negative thoughts, find peace in my heart, and discover the being of light within me. Love that. And it kind of just goes hand in hand with the letting go card. I pulled us uh, an animal totem card. We got the humpback whale, which is the singer. So the frequency, um, you know, singing and music can be so so healing in itself or um, a great way to kind of get out of your own head. Singing, dancing, really raising that vibrational energy. And I do think, too, I got a hit going into 2024 that I'll share now. But um, there's going to be a huge emphasis on um, all of these wonderful new um, ideas and creations going into healthcare. And I was even feeling like that frequency healing being really big going into 2024, more advances with that. But the message with the humpback whale is sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goals. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. Wonderful message there. Now, going into 2024, I do think that there, it's going to be, we're going to continue to see, uh, you know, things being a bit heavy, a lot of change happening, which is, um, you know, it can be scary, but ultimately it's letting go of the things that are no longer serving us and bringing in things that we want to align for our world. Um, but it, it's going to be a bit crazy and chaotic in 2024. I'll just let you know that now. Um, we have the Battle of the Blues card, so it's making sure if I can pick up the card, it's stuck to my desk. Battles of the Blues take steps towards positive change. And that kind of goes in with what I've been saying, you know, be mindful of where your attention or your energy is sitting in, doing those steps to to rise above the sadness or the heaviness in the world. Um, to really lighten up that, that vibrational energy. We have the dolphin coming in, which dolphins are all about that love and joy and playful energy, adventure. You know, say not to worry, be happy. So doing those things that, you know, help lift us up. For some of us, it might be taking a bit of a vacation. I think uh, what I was picking up with 2024 is it, it's going to be a bit exhausting. I think a lot of us have felt exhausted from 2023, but I'm feeling like, uh, it's it's a bit of pushing through that and, you know, mustering up that strength and energy still. It's going to be all over the place. Yeah, taking time for relaxation and adventure. So really doing that self-care and honoring yourself. And um, like I said before, not taking life so seriously. You know, we can't change what's going on in the world, but we can change how we react to it or... Um, how we respond to it. So being really mindful of that. 2024, some themes are coming in is teaching. So through all the hard times, as I say all the time, are the greatest opportunities to learn. But I think a lot of us are really kind of expanding, um, learning new things and new things that interest us. Even I think for myself, um, you know, taking more roles as, as a teacher and spreading our wisdom with the world. So it's going to be a great time to teach and learn. 
I think uh, very heightened sense of creativity and intuition as well. Um, I feel like it's going to be a wonderful time for you to, you know, as we're kind of letting go of the old, and I've seen this with clients, you know, middle to end of 2023, um, a lot of people making big decisions and big changes in their life, you know, starting their own businesses, you know, they've been in profession for years and years, but it's no longer resonating with them and they're going to follow their dreams and, and bring whatever they're looking to bring and to share with others into the world. You know, people moving across the country, people ending relationships, a lot of change. But um, yeah, heightened sense of creativity. And that goes with that abundance as well. And then the perception. So this is bringing balance to the third eye. Um, but it's also, as I said before, making sure that you're mindful of where where your attention's lying and how you perceive the world. I do think some lessons that we're gonna be learning, we have the help coming in. Um, I know we've had some challenges with um, pandemics in, in the past, and but I do feel like, you know, and, and there may be, I, I don't like the word pandemic and I'm not feeling another big pandemic, but I do see some, some uh, health challenges coming up around the globe. Um, nothing like, you know, 2020, but, um, but like I said, I think it's going to be a wonderful time to make those medical advances as well. But this is really a card of like being mindful of, of your stress um, and honoring your physical body. You know, a lot of us go into, into the new year and set all of these health um, routines um, and spirit saying to do that, do the things that make you feel good, that energize your body and that, um, you know, you're making sure that you're doing the self-care going into 2024. It's going to be stressful, so it's going to be important. We're going to be focusing on love and gratitude. So rising above the fear and sitting in that love and gratitude vibration as we're creating our reality. It's going to be a wonderful time, um, like I said before, to step into that personal power, um, the self-confidence and productivity productivity, the harmony card. So bringing that into the new year, you know, we're facing some fears and letting go of those things that are no longer, no longer serving us. And in, and as a result, it's, it's healing collectively going into 2024 as we've kind of uh, shed some light on things that were hidden. It is ultimately a healing time for all of us. Emotional healing too, purification with water. So it's an emotional cleansing that's kind of going on for all of us. Um, but with that, too, it, it brings in stability and rejuvenation of the body as well. Yeah, a lot of us focusing on developing the spiritual gifts, that heightened intuition and downloads of information going to continue to be really strong into 2024. Um, yeah, wishful thinking. So you're learning how to, to, how to manifest the life you desire. And that's all about keeping the faith and sitting in that, that love and, and joy vibration. And, you know, some of the things that have caused this conflict, they're resolving in 2024. So there is some closing of chapters and new. Um, or if, if maybe you've been feeling a little bit indecisive or struggling to, to figure out what it is that you want to create, 2024 is going to be a year of resolving and figuring that out. I'm almost done. I threw a couple tarot cards. We have the Two of Cups representing us now. And this is about uh, the connections with, with people and partnerships. So it's going to be a wonderful time to, to, uh, to invest in our relationships and um, in our commitments with, with others, our friends, our family. Yeah, we have the, the sacral chakra coming in. So that's all about that creative energy. You know, it's the womb of the body where we birth out um, abundance and creation. And we have the empress next to it, too. So that's kind of interesting, very similarly. The solar plexus is also that, that sensual, sexual energy, too, that creative energy, really crossing and, and helping us into 2024. Yeah, fertility um, with the empress here. I also think with the empress, too, it's a time of female, um, the divine feminine standing up and speaking out. Um, 
that's going to be a, a really important role into 2024. But um, yeah, connecting to that that inner um, divine feminine, that strong woman energy. Yeah, w the last year we're we're getting out of the heart chakra, um, you know, which it's opening up the heart for us going into 2024, um, where we've had to kind of shield it a little bit to protect ourselves um, through all the hardships, but that vulnerability, that love is opening up for us. Yeah, a lot of insight coming in. This is speaking truth and power with the Ace of Swords. A lot of insight. Um, we're entering the age of Aquarius at, at points. I think uh, Pluto's in a Aquarius for, I think, nine months out of the year. So this is all of the technology, the techno technology advancements, all of this new ideas and insight coming in for us all. It is going to be a bit of um, persevering, the nine of wands here, which is spiritual strength. So like I said, it's going to be easy to go into the fear vibration, but do your best to, to, to lift yourself out of that. Um, we're going to be feeling very tired and battle weary, but we're going to persevere. Um, we're going to push through this and persevere through it. Um, so it, it's going to be, it's going to require a lot of strength, but we're all up for it. And then the six of pentacles, which is material and spiritual prosperity for us. So, now, you know, helping others and also too, kind of, uh, it's all about the give and take of life, you know, what we put into it and what we receive, helping other people. And if you're able to, you know, or doing charitable work is going to be really important in 2024. So those are just some messages for us all. I'm just going to throw one more card for us. But um, it is a, you know, it's going to be very important to stay strong and be just very mindful of where we're sitting and, and what we want to create. And game. Oh, I love this. Our postcard is with love. There's a beautiful hummingbird there. Our message is, dearest you, we bet you must be so exhausted some days, giving as much as you do, sharing your energy so beautifully in service to the highest good can leave you feeling depleted. I just said that. Um, like an empty well. If it feels as if there is no more water for you, the good news is we have a plan. Today, go take a relaxing bath, book a massage, read a novel, buy yourself flowers, or plant some in your garden. Make time for self-care, not more work on yourself. By tending to yourself now, you are reminded to do so more often. Got that message throughout the card. I love the validation there. And be sure to use a word that might have, that might have caused you anxiety in the past, but is essential for your well-being now. No. Say it with us. No, thank you. No, I can't. You do not have to explain. Just say no gently but firmly. Then go and first so. Life will wait for you to bring yourself back to center, replenished and ready for more adventures. We love you so very much. Yeah, and that's that's where those boundaries come in. You know, it's okay to say no. I, I know a lot of us are very empathic and very giving people, and so we feel a bit guilty saying no. But it, it's going to be so important for us in 2024 to focus in on ourselves and our own self-care um, so that we're not depleted by all of the chaos going around us in 2024. So I'm going to end it there. But as I said before, please, if there's any topics or questions that you have for uh, 2024 predictions, please write them in the comments below. And as always, please do me a favor. Please like, please subscribe. I'm uh, sending you all a lot of love and happy new years. I hope that everybody um, for tw their 2024 manifests all of these wonderful blessings and miracles into your life. So I'm going to leave it there, sending you a lot of love, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.